When you were in grade 9, you studied the Lewis electron dot structure where the valence electrons are represented using a dot placed around the chemical symbol of the element. Let's use oxygen as an example. Oxygen has six valence electrons. In writing the Lewis dot structure, imagine that the symbol of the element which will represent the nucleus of the atom has four sides. Then, we simply distribute the dots. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The same goes for the other elements like fluorine with seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Or hydrogen, one dot for one valence electron. Well, actually, Mabilis mong malalaman kung ilang valence electrons meron ang bawat elements by looking at the periodic table. Kung anong family sila nabibilang, ganun din ang kanilang valence electrons, so as their Lewis dot structure. This means that each element in family 1A has one valence electron, family 2A with two valence electron, family 3A with three valence electrons, Family 4A with 4 valence electrons, 5A, 6A, and so on. Using the Lewis dot structure, we can show chemical bonding more easily. Let's use water, H2O, as an example. Now let's have oxygen first. Remember octet rule in our previous video? Sa lens, mas madali nyo siyang matatandaan dahil sa bawat side meron dapat tigda dalawang electrons. Ang electron na meron ng kapartner, we call this the lone pair. Sila yung taong masasaya na sa kanilang love life. And yung single, we call it the bonding electrons. Sila yung nakikibond para magkaroon ng kapair. Ngayon, alin ka dyan? Chai. So for water molecule, we simply draw a line connecting the bonding electrons of oxygen and hydrogen to show the chemical bond. We call this the bond pairs. May partner na sila. In the Lewis structure of water molecule, it shows that oxygen as the central atom has two lone pairs while hydrogen bonded to it has none. Oxygen and hydrogen are bonded through single bond which count as two bond pairs. Another example is ammonia. Nitrogen has five valence electron. In the Lewis structure of ammonia molecule, it shows that nitrogen as the central atom has how many lone pairs? Yes, one. How about the bonding hydrogen atom? It has none. Now, there are three bonding pairs as shown. Shout out sa mga co-teachers kong very supportive, lalong-lalo na kay Ma'am Ella na nagpahiram ng kanyang classroom, kay Ma'am MJ na naghahawak ng prompter ngayon, at kay Sir Bernard na in love na in love kay Bia ngayon na siyang aking cameraman. Please subscribe to his channel, Bernard Gomez, for instructional videos and mathematics. Thank you all for watching. Tan, 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 tan.